the folks here at Arts KC are always working to remind people how much economic impact cultural activities can have. $275 million annually across the metro. Movies, film, and TV production are part of that, which leads us to our next story about the Kansas City Film Office and how it's back in business again. Producer Ashley Holcroft found your film officer and our former co-host of Uniquely Kansas City, Steph Scuppum, hard at work inside Visit KC. Kansas City, meet your film commissioner, Steph Scuppum. She added the title to her already lengthy resume in 2014 when the office was reinstated. I really got here simply because I had a lot of different kinds of experience. Television, commercial work, film, marketing, even sales, and even in front of the camera as well. I think having all of that kind of experience has contributed to me being able to be what I am in the industry. She describes herself as a sort of customer service agent and liaison to the film community, ensuring their time here runs smoothly. But the history of the office has been anything but smooth. We had a very, very thriving industry in the 90s, and we had a film office back then. And then the office got defunded. The guard changed as far as politics go in the city, and the office was then closed. So the beautiful part of that is that people took up the mantle on a volunteer basis. And that same group of people really rallied for an official film office to be reopened. And we had that opportunity with the mayor, Sly James, the arts task force that he created, recommended that a film office be reopened. And in just two short years, the office has achieved impressive results. I'm really proud to say that we've been able to touch, as an assist in some way, 422 productions. Not all of those ended up filming here, but those are all relationships that we're able to start. But many of them did, each hiring a percentage of local crews, renting equipment, and staying in KC hotels. The kinds of projects we see run the gamut. Small, large projects like the independent films that came in this summer, and some television shows and television series. I've assisted, at the very least, six international productions that have come here. And just to give you an example on that kind of impact, one of the independent films that came through this summer uh, called All Creatures Here Below. They've sent in all of their final paperwork, so we have a look at what their economic, direct economic spend is. And in K the KCMO boundaries alone, it's $400,000. Another kick to the KC economy came when American Ninja Warrior rolled through in the summer of 2015. They go climbing all over the but far more than mere financial gains were banked. The cool part about that show is that they film in so many cities, and I know for a fact that they had a really good experience in Kansas City. One of those executive producers emailed me as soon as they were done and basically said, I would like to be a reference for you to bring in more work. Kansas City was just such a special experience. Don't go to Kansas City. Why? You know, you seem friendly. You don't have to prove that your work is good. It is. Think of it as store policy firing you. Not only are people surprised that we have as much as we have here, including a skyline, including such a vibrant arts community, including professional crew, including all kinds of diverse locations, they're, they're surprised by that. And then when they're not working, they really enjoy our city. And when it's all said and done, the strategy of the film office is to uh, make the industry aware that we're here and we're open for business, that we want the business. It's interesting to note that ours is the only city in the country which has a tax incentive program for film production, even though the state it's in doesn't. That's something that Steph would love to see get changed someday.